This is Tuesday of week 17, and I have the chimney done. Turned out fabulous. Now on all these corners here, here, and here, I think I'm going to take some sticks like these, which are, these are the ones that I use on the, for the soffits and fascia board and all that. Now I think wherever there's a corner, I'm going to take sticks and put on each side like you do when you're doing, what's that stuff called? That concrete side, whatever it's called. Anyway, I think that's what I'm going to do. Uh, now I got the I got the sheathing on this little roof. Looks pretty good. It's kind of a pain in the ass, but be worth it when I get through. Now I'm about to start doing some roofing on this, and uh, which will probably be another pain in the ass. But I'm gonna see what I can do with it. So that was just a little quick update, and I'll be back at the end of the week with this done, and probably be working on some trim by that time. So I'll see you then. All right, uh, end of week 17, and I've gotten a lot of the trimming done. Porch is finished, trimmed out. Looking good. Now on the original house right here, it had another roof, I think. It, it's hard to tell, but it had another roof section coming off this way. And uh, But I didn't do that because I don't know, I like that. That's kind of simple. Also forgot to mention on this porch, I know in one of the videos I said I was thinking about making a, putting a 512 pitch on it. It is a 512 pitch. That's what I decided on. And I like it. Got the little trim piece on the ends there. Soft it under it. Trimmed out the bottom, the bottom band and then trimmed out all that, all this up here. We come around here to the living room bay window section and it's done and trimmed. Now the ridge cap on this one, I let the, the sticks butt up, uh, the bottoms of the stick butt up and then I just cut a little piece to go in there like that flush instead of putting a ridge cap on it and all that so i thought i was going to have some trouble out of this this roof but actually the 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 framing was kind of rough but the finishing went together pretty good so i didn't have much trouble out of it all the soffits are on everything's trimmed most everything i mentioned in another video i'm going to put sticks here I was going to do that tonight, but uh, I ran out of sticks. Um, I'll probably go get some sticks tomorrow, and I'll finish that up. Come around here and look at the little dormer here. Got it all trimmed. And let's see what else. If you remember in a in another video, I had a I had a gap right here. Well, what I ended up doing was I took the two sticks, the row of sticks out that was through there, and I replaced them with a water stick. And then I got a little contour gauge right there that you push up against. I got a stud out or something right here in this wall. Is a it's a stud that's 
it's all screwed up. But anyway, that's what caused it to be wavy through here. And I put that little jig up against it to copy the contour. And then I traced it onto the stick and cut it out. And I almost have a seamless joint through there. So that worked out good. So I've got two of the bird boxes built. That one and that one over there. I'll I'll pro I'll do the rest of them, but I'll probably do them off camera because it doesn't take long to do them, and by the time you won't be able to see what's going on in the time lapse anyway. I also got two of the attic covers made. This one and that one, and they come off. They're removable, carefully removable. It's pretty much, I just put the frame in the window, built it inside the hole, and then glued a couple of sticks on first so it would stay square or true to this opening. And then I took it over there on the table and I put the rest of the sticks on it and then I marked uh, eighth of an inch perimeter all the way around here for this stick to rest on, glued it on, put the little X's in the middle and you have two covers. This one over here is the same principle, removable. Got a mark so I know which one goes where. That one's bigger than the rest so I know where it goes. This one was just a little bit loose in the hole so I took a little bit of hot glue, put on top of there, and then wiped it off. And what stays filled up, took up the space for it to be a little tighter. You want them to fit tight because if you don't, they'll, they'll fall out. So I will probably make the rest of them. I gotta do that one and two right here. I'll do those and then I'm gonna start building some windows and some doors for this thing. I'll, I'll be working on that next week. So that's pretty much all for this week. I'll be back next week working on some windows. Till then, see you later.